Hi, this is Bonnie with Claremont Technologies. With the changing job market, I wanted to give a couple of ideas for you to consider when looking for a new job opportunity. Like the old statement says, it's not what you know, but who you know, and that couldn't be more true when it comes to getting a job opportunity. As you know, there's thousands of applicants often time for one job and you really need to help yourself stand out. So what I recommend that you do is before you just go through the regular system of you know applying through their website, I would look through your LinkedIn connections or any other networking connections that you have and see if you know anyone that works at that company. That way, that person can either give you an introduction, which would be extremely helpful, or even some information about the company that might also give you an edge. If you don't see anyone that you know directly that would be a good um, networking person for you, look at your second and third level connections, what we sort of call network mapping. And you can see if you can know anybody even that is not as close of a contact, but someone even a little further out and see if you could somehow make your way through through your connections and find someone who could give you that little extra something to get the opportunity. Of course, whenever you're asking someone to do something for you, it's always a good idea to see if you can help them with something too. It's just good form. So that's what I would recommend. Another thing that I could recommend to you is to do a target list and see what companies that you would really like to work for, what sort of fits your values and ideas and you think would be a good place for you. What I'd recommend you do there as well is again, network map and see if you could find someone who works there. And you're probably thinking, why am I going to put myself out there if there's not a current job opening? Well, they actually have openings that they call unadvertised job openings. So what does that mean? It just means that they're not advertising for a job that they have. So you're probably wondering, well, why would they not advertise for a job that they have? That seems sort of silly. But sometimes they just either don't have the budget right now and they're going to need someone shortly, or they're actually looking to replace someone who might not be working out. So they really don't want to do anything you know, too overt and they just sort of want to keep it you know, quiet and just see if they can find somebody to replace. So once again, I would recommend the network mapping for that and see if you can sort of work your way in and see if you can find out if they are sort of looking for somebody who might fit your skills. If you want to be a little more aggressive in your search, you could actually research who you think would be the IT manager or someone that you think you would report to and see if they have anything that they've either written, an article they've written, or something that's been written about them, something that they've done, and maybe just send them a little note on, you know, with some of what you've enjoyed about it and you like reading it, some way to just sort of get some kind of, you know, an opportunity to be seen with someone who might be the manager there. And if you're wondering, well, how am I going to find the manager? I would say just do a little research online. You could find a lot of information. And usually companies' email addresses follow a certain pattern. So for example, it's like, say, the first initial of your, their first name, the last name, at company.com. So you can give that a try. And all of a sudden, you become visible to that particular person. So I hope some of those things have helped. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.